G'day everyone. Today we're going to have a look at the draw runner sets in version 10. So here if we look at this cabinet, I've got a fairly simple draw cabinet here with two M size drawers up the top there and a D size below. As you can also see, these are the inserter variation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, uh, another variation of this draw configuration which is going to use the screw front fixing. So let's just jump out of this cabinet and we'll go to our drawing properties. Now, as you can see, I'm using the metal premium type draw here. So I can see that I have a Blum and Taro inserter range. If I drop down this uh, list here, I would be able to change the other one, but I don't have a screw version for the Antaro. So let's go ahead and make one of those. You'll notice this list here is exactly the same list, but I'm gonna go add a new one. Clicking on the new button, giving it any name I wanted to. Now in my list here, I have a screw configuration, but as you can see in the main body there, I don't actually have anything set up. So I've still got to go set that up. So let's go ahead and do that now. In here, I'm allowed to actually go and filter in a folder so I can separate my drawers in the background. This makes it easier to go selecting what drawer you're chasing so it can get rid of some of the clutter. Now you can also do the numbers down the left hand side of the height column based on the actual panel color front of the drawer. Or if I don't check that choice on, I'll be using the internal height of the drawer. I'm gonna go ahead with the internal height of the drawer because you'll often find this specified in your product suppliers catalog. The first type of drawer I'm gonna go for is the N series here. Now this is obviously very much specific to whatever type of drawer you're currently using. I am using the Antaro. So do be cautious of the different brands of the different sizes and model numbers. Now here, that, so the zero height is gonna engage in any possible drawer that doesn't otherwise have a height specification. But here I'm gonna type in 110 and use the tab key. And now I'm gonna specify my second type of drawer to happen when the space gets to 110 millimeters internally or over. If we were using the based on front height, that would be saying when the front gets to 110. I'll come back to a little bit more detail about these front heights as well. So I'm just gonna go right ahead and keep punching through these different sizes. Right, so now we've actually made the configuration. I'm just gonna apply that, press update, and press OK. And now you'll see there in the middle that now the kit is actually formed. It's got all the different heights of the different values. So I'm gonna press OK. Now I actually have the screw configuration selected, so that one's engaged. We press OK to our drawing properties. And now we go have a look at our cabinet. Now you'll notice now that all the drawers have actually changed to the same type of drawer, but with a screw variation, because of the numbers we've plugged in have actually allowed them to engage in those positions. So this makes it very easy when changing between different brands, different styles, if you've got the stuff set up. So I'm just gonna make another change now just to let you guys see what's happening. I'm just gonna go for a tech form draw here. And you'll see my drawers have all changed. Now once those all details have been plugged in, it makes it very easy to change. As we change the size of these drawers, I'm gonna change back to the new kit. And you should see there that the top drawer has now become an N size drawer because there is less space for the other drawer to occur. All right, well that concludes the drawer runner sets. Thanks for listening.